Hi there. This is part two of my exploration of the culvert under the steelworks in Scotts Bridge known as 36 Double D. We're at the point where we finish part one and that's about 800 metres in, all underground culvert. We've got about 600 metres to do, there's a bit of culvert and some open sections. You can probably see the light of the first open section up there. So let's go and have a look. Looking back now, I'd say the culvert's about 10 metres wide here, so the river is very shallow. And if you look above, you can see the, the fantastic roof made up of lots of little small brick arches. Looking towards the inlet again, and another nice view of all those mini arches in the roof. Now, as I mentioned in part one, I had already filmed most of part two, but then I got caught. Luckily, I got quite a bit of footage and I had taken all the light painted still photographs so hopefully I can put together a video of the remaining part of this explore although I won't be walking through some of these open bits in the steelworks I'll try and give you a better view of the open sections as you can see from where I am now. This is looking through the first open section. You can see it would be so easy to be seen. It would have been great to walk through, but I can't risk it. And I have been asked not to enter the, the river or the culvert again. You can see there is a building over the river about 75 metres away. Then probably about a further 300 metres of open river and then the, the river goes back underground again. So I'll see you up at the entrance to the final underground bit. You can probably make out the entrance in the centre of this photograph. See you up there in a bit. This is looking into the final underground section. This first area is sort of covered in concrete blocks, I believe. But ahead, you can see there's a modern concrete culvert that we're going to walk up. Not a lot to see, just smooth concrete and a few cables on the walls. The 
it's easy walking, a level concrete floor, and it's just about, I'd say, six inch of water. Looking back there, you can just make out the, the light from where we, we entered the culvert in the distance. Another photo looking back, you can see my trusty walking pole. I would not go into any culvert or river without that. It's for, great for probing deep pools or just steadying yourself. I wouldn't be without it, would never enter a culvert without it. The concrete floor has pushed up here for some reason. It actually gives you somewhere dry to stand. But I've no idea why it's uh, been forced up like that. Water flowing in here from somewhere. Some uh, drain from the surrounding area, I'd say. You can see here how the culvert walls are constructed out of reinforced concrete. That's the last look of where we have come from. And I won't be going back here. We're just about to leave the safety of the culvert and enter the open river. This is actually where I was apprehended. Luckily, I'd already filmed walking up this open section of river. So we're leaving the cover of the culvert. We're in the open river now, so I'm gonna keep to this back edge so I'm hidden from view. I'm well hidden down here, so if I keep to this side all the way up until I get clear of the steelworks, should be okay. Quite an idyllic spot. You wouldn't know you were in a steelworks.
Whoa, whoa, that's deep. Can't even feel the bottom. Oh. Must be about five or six feet deep. That's the final bit of culvert ahead. So, just walking through the last bit of culvert. Three inches of water and a nice flat concrete floor to walk on. Easy. So we're just about to leave the steelworks behind. So this is probably the boundary of the steelworks. This is the northern entrance to the steelworks. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to carry on up the river and try and get as far as when I did the initial introduction to this series of videos. It's about half a mile up the river, so it shouldn't take too long to get up there. Following the river upstream behind a row of terraced houses here, it's quite slow going because it's it's basically a river bed and you don't know if it's a foot deep or a three foot deep pool. But I'm making my way up, um, I can look further up and there looks like to be a bit of a waterfall or a weir up there so we'll head up there.
Well, we're finally back at the stone where this adventure to explore the culvert known as 36 Double D started. I did not manage to film this part two video in the, the detail I would have liked to, but I do appreciate Liberty Steel's point of view of not having me in the river. I have got a long list of underground rivers, railway tunnels and other underground waterways and tunnels to explore. So hopefully I will keep you entertained in the coming months. If I could say thank you for watching and thank you for any comments you leave. I'll see you soon. Bye then.